I want to address a very important feature of hosting websites that does not get discussed enough. I'm talking about your PHP. Yep, that's right. The Pahup. And don't worry, I'm not going to make this complicated. Have you ever gone in and inspected your current website or your client's website's PHP memory limit? Point I really want to drum across to you is that whenever you're building a website from the get go, whether it's yours or a client's or anyone else's, and you're now navigating, well, who are we going to use as a host? How about you find out first what they offer and ask them the direct question? Otherwise, you will get caught out because I've worked with people where we then find out that they went with someone, nothing to do with me, but they went with someone based on a price and then they realized the memory limit could not be altered or the file size they want to upload was restricted because these are the kind of things a lot of you do not think about. You go, well, do we get a daily backup? Yeah. Can we access the website? Does it provide emails and can I connect my domain and what's the price and all of that customer service? That's great. But the PHP element is so fundamentally important because nine times out of 10, when websites aren't working very well or you can't edit it, it's usually down to your pahop or PHP. This is my dummy playground website. What you want to do is go over to the WordPress sidebar. You want to go over to tools and site help. So many people overlook this, okay? You then want to go and click on info. Scroll down to server, open that up. And this is the really important info you really should take account of. Over here, you'll notice the memory limit that I've currently got on this website is 768. That should be your bare minimum. There was a time where you could have got away with 256 or even half of that, which was 128. You could have got away with it. And I have seen some clients, not my clients or people I've worked or spoken with, and they then find out that their host provider had set a limit of 128. Like, what the heck are you going to do with 128? Not a lot. Or there are some very well-known hosting providers, and I did a video about this many months ago, and I'm not going to mention it, but if you go and search for memory limit PHP, you'll find it. They set by default 256, and I queried them on this, and they said, well, yeah, that is the limit. And it's not until you go on like some super premium enterprise package that they'll bump you up. You need to be on 768. So if you have a host provider and they're setting you on 512 or 256, you can just about get away with 512. But I strongly recommend you have 768 as a minimum. Anything higher than that is even better. The second thing you need to worry about is your upload max file size. I have seen host providers where they've set that to two megabytes, right? I've got 256, two megabytes. Let me explain. You're going to try and install a plugin. You get it from the WordPress repository. You haven't gone to any GPL website. Everything is clear and, in, you know, all OK. WordPress repository, you try and install it and it fails. Why? Because your file size upload was probably tiny. I would recommend that you try and make sure you got at least 10 megabytes, OK? You don't really want to be installing mega hefty plugins anyway. But two megabytes is way too small, all right? Because for some like Elemental Pro or other really good plugins, two megabytes is not going to cut it. If you are working with a client or for your own website and you find a really amazing deal, double check the criteria or what they're saying you're going to get. And if there's no mention of the memory limit, go and inquire with them. And by the way, even if they say you can have 768, that's our default. Are you allowed to improve that? So I know with our current host, if we need to boost that up, we can do it no extra cost. But some well-known hosting providers will limit you at, say, 256, and they won't allow you to go higher. Well, what's the deal with that? You know, especially if you've used it and you built your website and yet you could change host, but then you got to go through the whole migration and then changing things. And you know what? We like to know that our hosts have got our back, especially from the customer service side of things. So, hey, I hope you've learned something now about your pahup or PHP memory limit and the upload max file sizes as well. Hey, I'm Imran, Web Squadron. Check out our $1 business packs. Link in the video description. I'll see you soon.